Well, hello folks. <clears throat> July 2016. Thought I would do a layout update. It's been quite a while. I've had lots of things going on. So here's the progress. Uh, last week, filled in this little spot of real estate here with uh, what's going to be part of the mill yard. Um, you know, unlike the real Ontario Northland in Hearst, Ontario, um, the Tembeck Mill that was there will uh, be here. Not quite uh, as prototype, uh, but still will be an industry nonetheless, and will be a mill nonetheless. So, working on last night, I got the fascia on. Um, as you can see, it's just one eighth inch hardboard, just cut to fit, and uh, also got it around filling in parts of the helix here and uh, getting it kind of ready for the upper level. As you can see, the swing out gate with trains staged. Uh, in here been spending a ton of time operating trains and seeing the flow of the layout where traffic comes and goes um, how traffic comes and goes off the layout and back onto the layout and interchange traffic and all that sort of stuff so still in the process of trying to <clears throat> figure that out between the Algoma Central and Ontario Northland I have pulled out my car cards here which I've been using from Micromark and uh, so far, so good. A little bit more labor intensive than I maybe wish, but I guess paperwork is inevitable when you're running a layout much like a real railway is. So, um, got it. Hearst Yard is all wired up. Uh, feeders run, spacers filled in with uh, you know ties and such. So you can see a long string of cars there on track one that the Ontario Northland just brought in to service the industries around. Hearst and of course the pulp mill um, filled in the fascia around here and so on gonna clean up the edges clean up uh, I'm not gonna fill the screw holes in just in case uh, something ever happens where I have to get at it there's nothing worse than having to go look through uh, plaster or anything kind of filler to look for uh, screw heads once it's painted you probably won't even see it um, so industry here kind of just putting in some buildings just to get an idea of where the uh, industries are going to be and how their layout of them is going to look. Um, log unload here for the mill, for the pulp mill. Um, first track is Algoma Central, which comes off the layout for logs. And the second track is Ontario Northland, which services off the layout as well. So boiler recovery, the uh, paper house going to be putting the craft mill in kind of where these uh, car card holders are clay tanks chemical tanks wood chips here of course and uh, again just kind of just getting an idea where everything's going to sit um, and then I've got my fascia that ends here really not a whole lot of new down this end um, going to be filling in where the lake will be soon with plywood on the uh, risers there and such are the uh, joists. Uh, mill over here again, uh, not quite prototype but traffic nonetheless on the Algoma Central. Wood chips out which go to the pulp mill and product lumber finish lumber products out here. Um, pulp log reload which will happen here, which the log, logs now will come from here and go to the pulp mill. I'm going to be working on this backdrop, filling in the holes and the screw heads and all that sort of stuff and getting it painted. And not much new around here as we come around. Um, and again, really nothing new down here at all. Um, just kind of seeing how everything's going to go in Franz and uh, trying to make it as close to the prototype there as possible. It would be nice if I could have traffic come and go off the layout for the Canadian Pacific, but that's not going to happen. So again, I installed a program track with a lock programmer or lock programmer. Absolutely fantastic. If you don't have one, get one. Uh, well worth the money. Um, finished up a True Lines train. Uh, was painted by the train seller and then was deckled by and weathered by myself. Um, absolutely love the caboose it's uh, really cool well done it's uh, I have a brass one which is it's a pretty close uh, match to the brass one so yard in uh, <coughs> Hawk Junction Ontario and 
again yard power over here so um, that was a chop nose jeep 9 which yelgoma central never had and wisconsin central did they chopped a couple of uh, jeeps for the yelgoma central when they took them over but on my layout it's my rules so and i really like the chop nose jeep 9 a little better one so i have another one getting done by the train seller as well so that'll be uh, 106 so i'll have two of them and uh just kind of messing, getting rid of all my tsunami sound units and putting lock sound in. Um, can't go wrong. Absolutely love them. Love the sound. Love the programmability of it. Um, easy to operate, easy to manage, that sort of thing. So there you go. That's the passenger train that runs the, the entire length of the line. And then the freight train here behind it, which would be coming in from Sault Ste. Marie, bringing cars into... Hawk Junction, which then would go to the layout and to the Ontario Northland. And the passenger train, of course, is the tour the line train. So number one runs all the way from Sault Ste. Marie to Hearst one day, back the next. And my staging tracks, what I've done is I have two complete sets of, uh, well, three complete sets of turnaround cars. So the first two tracks are for the Ontario Northland. So it will be coming in on this track the next time when it leaves i'll be bringing this string of cars to have a complete different set of cars and same with the algoma central so tracks closest to the post there are two complete sets of trains that come in off the layout and go off just so to cycle cars through finished weathering that bad boy um quite pleased how it turned out and uh, got the lock sound in there as well and it sounds fantastic and of course, these are just surplus CP engines that are just kind of hanging out here because I have nowhere to put them. So that's it for now. Um, we'll be hopefully getting a lot more done here on the fascia. I'm probably going to be adding another track in here, two tracks in here, the stub end, just to park uh, trains on or work trains or whatever I have. So lots to follow, lots to come. Have a good day. Thanks.